Well, the head of the Secret Service was grilled today on Capitol Hill after a major security breach at the White House. Congress is demanding to know how Omar Gonzalez made his way over the fence and onto the lawn on September 19th carrying a knife. The Secret Service initially said Gonzalez was taken down just inside the front door, but he actually made it all the way into the East Room. He was taken down by an off-duty agent who just happened to be there at the time. This led to a heated exchange between lawmakers and the Secret Service director. Don't let somebody get close to the president. Don't let somebody get close to his family. Don't let them get in the White House, ever. We all are outraged within the Secret Service of how this, how this incident came to pass. And that is why I have asked for a full review. It's obvious. It is obvious that mistakes were made. The president was not at the White House at the time. He was briefed about the incident last Friday. And no doubt here, you're hearing the same questions of how could this happen? WISN 12 News reporter Mike Anderson heard that from people at public buildings in Milwaukee today. And he spoke with one security expert who says it's time to shore up resources. Next. The Milwaukee County Courthouse is a perfect example of how security has tightened at public buildings. You can't get in most without surrendering anything that might pose a threat. Coats, jackets, sweaters, belts, watches, wallets, oh. any kind of metal. But despite all the security, some people are wondering if any place is safe from intruders now. They can break into the White House. Ken Bartels is watching the White House breach closely. And this week, a guy got past security and ran around naked at the Capitol building in Madison. I don't know. I, it's kind of scary. You can go up north and you're still not safe. I mean, you go into Germantown, you're not safe from the last incident of that bar that got robbed. I mean, it's sad. You got to beef up wherever you have to today. Clyde Hoig owns Badgerland Security. He's been in the business for 40 years. He says it's time for operators of public and private buildings to consider hiring armed guards. Because it's just going to keep getting worse. You know, you can destroy all those uh, jihadists or whatever like that, and there's still going to be somebody out there that's going to pull a trigger or set off a bomb or something. More reasons for you to stay alert and pay attention to your surroundings. In Milwaukee, Mike Anderson, WISN 12 News.